About 1,200 families were displaced to make way for diamond mining in Zimbabwe. The diamond companies built houses for them which from a distance look decent. Among the displaced is 81-year-old Nixon Zihu, who invites outsiders to take a closer look before believing that. I wish one of them would come and spend a night in the house so they actually feel it, because just mere talking doesn't make them understand, so they must come and sleep in there. Chinese mining company Anjin Investment Private Limited has the most lucrative diamond claim in Marange area, about 400 kilometers east of Arare, as well as Marange Resources Diamond Mining Company. Anjini company officials say they are aware of the displaced villagers' concerns. Our sister company, uh, Zimbabwe Consolidated Diamond Company, They've played and they've vowed to uh, resuscitate and refurbish uh, those, those, those uh, houses. Zimbabwe Consolidated Diamond Company is a government-owned company which later took most diamond operations. Besides housing, the displaced villagers complain about a lack of clean drinking water and having just one hectare for subsistence farming compared to vast sections of land they left in Marange. The Zimbabwean government has answered the allegations inviting observers to see what officials say has been progress in alleviating concerns. There are huge interventions which have, been, which have, which have taken place around that area and uh, I think it will also probably would be you know an idea that is sometime soon we have a visit which you can all come and see for yourself some of the good work which is happening. So the long and short of it is there's good work which is happening. There were interruptions due to COVID which affected production and also affected the revenues of the company. When reporters visited the area, there was no evidence of any work taking place. Meanwhile, Zehu is keeping up his calls for government officials to come and experience his miseries. Columbus Mavungam for VOA News. Mutare, Zimbabwe.